What's up guys? I hope you're having a terrific Tuesday. Um, I'm still on kind of cloud nine mode as this morning I woke up to a um, milestone that is still mind blowing to me, 500 subscribers on my YouTube channel and it's only been about a year and two months. It, it's really, I can't even believe it and thank you so much for the support. If you like what you hear, hit that subscribe button. It's free, it takes two seconds and it really helps me out. But I wanted to come on here and talk about the impact and the legacy of Nick Marquez, who yesterday decided to opt out of the 2020 season due to coronavirus concerns. And I completely support him in that. He has four kids and a family to think about. And with Freddie Freeman, unfortunately dealing with the virus and Nick having a conversation with Freddie, it just didn't feel like it was worth the risk for him. And I completely completely understand it and all I'll have is complete and utter gratitude for what Nick Markakis has done for this organization and I completely and utterly believe that our rebuild wouldn't be as successful uh, as, it, as it has been without um, signing Nick to that four-year 44 million dollar extension that many were questioning at the time but as I've said before I co-signed it right when the Orioles players and organization were in, uh, made an uproar about the Orioles not re-signing him um, because we got a glimpse of that right away. Nick Marquez signing uh, changed the Braves' mindset to, eh, yeah, we want to win to, we expect to win. And Nick Marquez was a no-nonsense guy that just went out there 162 games, put it all on the line. So many professional at-bats, so many clutch hits for us. 2018, his uh, first walk-off homer kind of set the tone for uh, the Braves being back um, in that in that realm. And he saved the Braves pitcher's bacon so many times. Luke Jackson, and countless number of times, uh, just gold glove plays, gold glove leadership. And who cares if he doesn't smile? or he doesn't show a lot of emotion. That's just who Nick Markakis was, and all he care, cares about is winning baseball games, and that is what I have complete and utter gratitude for what Nick Markakis has brought to this club, and it's gonna be a gaping hole uh, in our clubhouse because, it, because that unspoken leadership or that silent silent assassin, as it were, is kind of, kind of a, the glue that kept us together when things weren't going well or uh, we were in the doldrums of our rebuild. Nick Markakis showed up every single day and gave us everything he had, grass stains and all of it. And I think that's what we ultimately need to remember about Nick Markakis. And I know a lot of people are, are uh, kind of questioning his motives to skip out on the season, but I'm not and I will never question it. I would just thank him for everything he's done for this organization and uh, the mentoring he's done for all our outfielders and our young players behind the scenes and the protection of Brian Snicker and um, just MLB as a whole. Nick Markakis has made it better and he's just so much fun to watch. I hope he gets another chance to finish out the career, his career, the way he wants to and not because of a stupid virus. But uh, thank you, Nick Markakis. You are forever going to be one of my favorites. And I appreciate everything you've done for Braves country. And I hope you'll be watching us from afar and cheering for us. We're going to miss everything you bring to the table. Man, we need a left-handed hitter now. But uh, you are really, really a class act. And as always, go Braves.